Hey guys, good morning. Today I'm gonna actually I'm gonna read an email uh, from a coach. This coach is an ultra marathon coach, um, someone that's been uh, corresponding with me for a while. On honestly, it's like a sanity check because I say things like ultra marathoners don't even run the ridiculous miles that's being told, right? And so, and I'm getting that feedback from ultra marathoners and ultra marathon coaches. So I'm gonna read this from an ultra marathon coach. Alter guy chiming in, brother. I have two peak weeks. This last week was week one of my first peak week. I ran 85 miles. Next week I'm running 90 with a few optional runs to push to 95 to 100 if my body is feeling it. This is it for a 100 mile race that I'm planning on going sub 24 hours in. So this person, this coach, this ultra marathoner and coach, they're gonna do a 100 mile race. He, he's right now not even planning on doing 100 miles to test for that race because it's really quite unnecessary if his body isn't feeling it, right? Like, because you either have the capacity and you don't. If you don't have the capacity, you need to train. If you have the capacity, you don't need to keep piling on that linear training of mileage. Let me put into context how insane that mileage idea is for someone planning to do a marathon a week. Because why is a marathon a week? That's, that's buds. Buds advertises that basically you're doing 26 to 28 miles a week. That's what the United States Navy advertises. So that's what he's saying. So the ridiculous miles that's being said, you should do all this mileage for what? We're only running 26 miles a week, right? So I have a guy I know through the ultra community. He ran across the fucking, I didn't say fucking, he did, fucking United States of America. That is 3,175-ish miles. I think he did it in 55 days. That average is about 58 miles a day for just under two months. If I remember correctly, he only ran 100 miles a week two times in his prep for that. So running across country of 3,000 miles, he only ran to 100 miles twice over all of his training time. And he never ran that much in the during the day. I mean averaging 58 miles a day is absurd, right? So buds, you're running 26 miles a week. Why are we saying 70 miles? It's ridiculous, it's so unethical, it's ridiculous. Your clown guys will hate to hear why he was training in what they would call insufficient mileage for a big goal like that. But the answer is, this is from an ultra marathon coach, the answer is, why are you going to break your body down before you even start your race or in, your, in our case, selection? Why enter something, either a body that does not need to be broken? You break your body there at selection, right? He knows, he wasn't there, but you're, I, you will break your body at selection in the attempt, not in training, okay? You will break your body if you have to, but the sufficient weight training and the correct mileage plans you won't break down, right? Our athletes don't break down, right? Because we plan proper mileage in the, on the road, in the pool, with a ruck, and resistance training properly. We, that's why our guys are so durable. Again, why would you enter something broken when you don't have to? I ask ultra guys, I coach that, and the only answer is stupidity of not knowing how to train. Some, in the case you talk about, stupidity of wanting to be smarter than you are when everything is working out, especially running, is a simple math equation. Yes, math, simple, okay? Again, man, keep it up. If you have, asked, if you have questions further about running, I'd love to help you, even though you seem to have everything sorted with training you provide, thank you. So, the mileage in which a person is running for selection is advertised immensely by the Department of the Navy. That given mileage, is how you program for buds. Anyone that is saying 70, 60, 50, 40, and even 30 miles a week is absolutely doing you and your training a disservice.